Hey everybody, this is eTradeSupply.com. Last week I got my hands on two new pieces, which according to uh, what I saw on AndroidPolice.com appear to be from the new HTC M7. So let's have a look at these. I've got the rear housing and the middle housing. Starting with the rear housing, the M7 is supposed to succeed the HTC One series. So let's compare it with the One X here first. So as you can see, uh, it's quite different. It's a little bit bigger. This one's actually 7 centimeters wide by 13.7 centimeters tall. If you look at it from the side, unlike the one, it's not going to have the curved design. It's just going to have a uh, flat straight design. Uh, looking at the inside, uh, you can see it's a little taller. This one doesn't have all the fittings on the inside yet, so it looks quite different. Uh, you can see they made the design pretty different as far as the case goes. On this one, the case curves over the top. Then on this one, the case is just only on the back side. So it doesn't look very much like um, the One Series. However, if we compare it now with the DNA, you can see it's much more similar. Now the DNA is a little bit taller and it's a little bit thinner. Now you can see this more clearly when you put them side by side. See from the side, it's a little bit, uh, the thickness is approximately exactly the same. Uh, DNA is just taller and a little bit, uh, not quite as wide. The M7 is also a lot more plain looking than the DNA. Uh, take a look at the buttons. The DNA, they made it really nice with the metallic buttons. Metallic volume button, metallic uh, power button, and they even put a metallic camera ring. So these little details made the finish of the DNA look really nice. Um, now another thing you can see here with the M7 is they added a camera button on the side which for people like me who love taking pictures this is very very useful another thing that it doesn't have that the DNA has aside from the nice metal button uh, finish is remember that the DNA was pretty much waterproof or at least water resistant so on the inside it had this rubber gasket all along the inside now you can see on the M7 there's no space for this uh, there's no fitting for that so unfortunately it probably won't be waterproof so you can see the two of them look very similar, but the new M7 is just a lot more plain looking, doesn't have the little details that made the DNA so attractive. And you can see the obvious difference is the flashes are on opposite sides. And while the DNA has the uh, LED notification here on the back, uh, the new M7 doesn't seem to have that. Now because this one is so plain looking, uh, especially compared to the DNA, I wasn't sure if it was a real one or just a prototype. However, you can see it's got the little Beats Audio logo down here in the back. So I'm assuming they wouldn't bother putting that on the prototype. It also doesn't have the little printing, uh, the little FCC printing. But depending where, uh, what area this part is designed for, they don't necessarily uh, have to put that on. Now another piece that we got is the, um, the middle frame or the middle housing. Uh, let's take a look at that here. Now there's not much we could say about this. Um, if I measure it, I can assume that the LCD will be uh, the suspected 4.7 inches. Because 4.7 inches would easily fit into this space here. Well, let me turn that around. So if you look 4.7 inches, that would be about this size here. Let's move that, move that up a little bit. Because at the bottom, you're going to have the navigation panel with a home button the back button and the menu buttons and at the top there'll be a uh, space where, it, where it's going to say HTC and on the sides there'll also be some black area so it's hard to assume exactly how big the LCD will be now sometimes I get two parts and I'm not sure if they go together or not but these two pieces definitely go together you can see they just they fit right in they fit perfectly and uh, once you snap it in the only way you can take it apart is with a plastic separation tool. So let's take one last look at the design here. So looking at the back, it looks very much like the DNA, uh, the DNA except uh, the flash is on the opposite side and it doesn't have the metal finish around the camera ring. Then when you, we look at the right side, you can see the volume buttons, camera button, on the top you have the earphone jack and the power button. On the left, there's a hole for the SIM card 
and on the bottom there's a hole for the micro USB. So for any more updates on the new HTC M7 or any other new models for that matter, come visit us at eTradeSupply.com because as usual we'll have them first.